you know, really all it takes is just getting, you know, around film sets, like moving to the towns like, you know, Atlanta or someplace like that where tax incentives are big and a lot of the movies are shooting now, meeting people and getting in. It's not something that's unattainable. You don't have to have family to do it. You just have to have the drive and want to work hard. All right, so we'll jump right into it. Now, your first credits were working as a grip on various films in your mid-20s before getting into camera operating and eventually directing. What was the inspiration that got you into filmmaking? You know, I, my grandfather was an old actor from back in the days. Uh, his name was Life Erickson. And as a kid, <clears throat> I used to go to film sets with him and and I'd kind of see like, you know, like what it was he was doing, which actually opened up my eyes to go, oh, you know, you don't have to have a regular job really and truly. Like you can be creative and get into this business and make make a living with it. He did a great, you know, he made a great living off of all the films that he did. He was really my first inspiration uh, of how to do it. So I started making home movies with my buddies and like, you know, blowing up, you know, cars with firecrackers and action films that were super ridiculous. And then, you know, I went through this whole punk band phase where I thought I was going to be a punk rocker and uh, that didn't go through. So then I moved to L.A. and my grandmother, when my grandfather had passed, she was telling me, like, you should do it. You you know, just you can do whatever you want to do. Just follow your dreams. So I went to film school and eventually got into uh, being a grip on sets, which actually gave me like set etiquette, made me learn the, the ins and outs of how a set works. And then, you know, my whole goal was to direct, but then I started really getting interested in camera operating and it kind of took me on that path of ways, which was probably the best, you know, path I could have taken for like learning so much about directing, lighting, what, what, you know, how long it takes for people to get things done, what it takes to run a set, all that stuff. So it was a really kind of a really fun progression, you know, of, of where I am today. And I'm still trying to progress with doing this stuff. I'm still learning a lot. So that's really how it all came about, you know, just early, early on. Yeah, that, I think that's essential in, in the people that make it is having somebody in their life that, that, believes in them and lets them know that this isn't this isn't crazy like go or it might be crazy but do it anyway yeah i mean i think it's important because some people just you know and for me i knew i could do it but for the people out there that don't have someone in the business you know really all it takes is just getting you know around film sets like moving to the towns like you know atlanta or someplace like that where tax incentives are big and a lot of the movies are shooting now meeting people and getting in it's not something that's unattainable you don't have to have family to do it you just have to have the drive and want to work hard (laughs) 